What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Matt here, and we have the most ultimate of beef in front of us here. This is what started the box topper revolution, and we're about to see what it's about. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment that we can get on the giveaways. It's the last day of the month, so this will be the last video that you have a chance to get in on these. We are giving away two booster boxes this month. We have a bundle to give away. We have a Redbeard Underworld Games MTG uh, bundle to give away, and uh, probably something else, probably some secret layers. I don't even know anymore. We're giving away so much stuff. I'll have to check, but uh, we'll uh, we'll announce those next week. So if you don't mind, make a comment, tell me where you're watching from, what time it is, and uh, if you were around when Ultimate Masters was uh, was released, if you had a chance to open some of it, what your opinion of it is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's get started. This will be a battle, a six-way battle. Each person gets four packs. Then we're going to count the CMC of the packs. Whoever has the highest CMC at the end will receive the topper. Whoever has the lowest will receive this Core 21 Collector Booster. And uh, we opened a couple of these last night. And I think people, people know Core 21 is really good. But I don't think they know how good it is. It is legit a like low key master set, right? It's got so many good cards in it. In my in my opinion, anyways, you can disagree with it, but if they would have called it anything but Core Twenty Twenty One, if it was Masters Twenty Twenty One, people would have a whole different opinion of it. So first up, we have Austin, first time in the Thunderdome, followed by Maxwell. Right here in the middle, we have Phil and Brian. Dakota next to last, and the coveted caboose goes to Sean. Let me write down these names, and then we'll get to ripping. Phil. And here we go. Pack number one, we have Vengevine. We have the lovely little pull tabs. We opened a couple of these in the Facebook group last night as well. And uh, we were trying to figure out if this was the first, uh, like, Japanese card stock or if uh, Battle Bond was. Starting off with Sovereigns of Lost Lar, and it, it, it turns out that Battle Bond, as far as I can remember, was the first, like, really Japanese printed, uh, printed cards. That, it, probably wrong, but that's the, in my recent memory, the card stock and the foiling so nice. That's what I'm trying to get at. If you're interested in joining the Facebook group, we do these uh, breaks in there. Live, multiple nights a week. Beautiful crusher there. Sheesh, a little engineered explosives action. Nice little hit there for Austin. Multiple nights a week. And uh, it's just called Cracking Packs MTG on Facebook. Join up, answer the questions, and then Christina will let you in if you answer the questions properly. All right, pack three for Austin. Let's see if we can find some beef here. Souls Fire, Foil, and very nice Afana Shaman. So solid hits there, not too shabby. We'll take those, nothing crazy, but all good playables. So Austin, you're at eight so far. Maxwell, you're up to bat, good luck. Starting you off with Avenge Vine too. Then we got a row of four Luscious Lilies. I love the Citizen token, so pretty. Frantic Search in Foil, and oh no, Maxwell, the Lava Claw reaches. That's not where you want to be. Good common, uncommon there with Golgari Thug, though. These Umbras are good. Not the Lava Claw. Wonk, wonk. I tell you what, if somebody gets a Lava Claw and the Stirring Wildwood in the same stack, we're going we're gonna to give them some bonus beef, because that's just, that's too much. Hooting Mandrels. Celestial Cop, two man, it, it. Maxwell, I hope you like Manlands. I hope you like Manlands. That's all I gotta say. Are we going for the uh, the triple zero here? The OG triple OG? Let's see. Pack three for Maxwell, Kanker Abomination, and a Seismic Assault for three. The only assault so far is the assault on Maxwell's wallet. Sorry about that, bud. You're sitting at a three. Phil, you're up. No mythics yet. Quarter of the way through the box. 
Well, let's see if one finally turns up. We got an elemental token, a foil ghoul collars apprentice, and a super triple thick with three C's because there's three pips of light there. Raya Dawnbringer, that's a hefty nine. One card and Phil already takes the lead. Sheesh. There's very few cards with high mana value in this set. Um, I think Woodfall Primus is probably going to be the other. Tassiger is a six. Uh, and then, of course, we can't leave out the Eldrazi, but they are mythics, not guaranteed. Golgari Brown Scale and an Entomb. That's an awesome hit there. That thing has went up quite a bit lately. Hovering in the $30 range last I checked. So a nice hit there for Phil. So he has the thickness and he has the beef. Pack three. Spark Elemental. Foil Circular Logic. This is actually one of my favorite cards because I am a crazy person and I like to play counter spells. And uh, I used to pitch this to Wild Mongrel to play it for one blue. There we go. There's a little Pam action. P-A-M-N. Here's the tap for some colors and have Exalted. So that puts Phil at 11. Those, that, that double one hit there, that snake eyes in that last two pack, kept Phil within striking distance everybody else. Brian, you're up to bat. Pack number one, Grave Scrabbler, and Bird Boy for four. Still no Mythics. That's a good, uh, that's a pretty good uncommon, uh, uncommon, uh, what do you call it? Anakadama's Reach. Uncommon pack, uncommon rope. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Ultimate Masters has me on tilt. Looking for that mythic. Looking for that foil rare. Will we get there? God's willing, we will. And there's that tasker we mentioned a few moments ago. 4-6. Vengeful Rebirth. Fire nice. It feels bad they made this a rare in Modern Horizons 2, right? Let's get that six down. Oh, man. Brian's about to catch Phil. This is going to be a lot closer battle than we anticipated. Twins of Mar Estate. Spoils of the Vault for one. I think he just tied Phil. Super close. Treasure Cruise. Love that card. Reckless Charge. And that is. That's an 11 for Brian, too. No Mythics. No Foil Rares or Mythics. Um... Is the last row hiding all the treasures? Dakota, we're about to find out. Fiery Temper. Madness is such a good mechanic. And a Glen Alindra Archmage. Good card there. Four mana. Let's flip through the rest of the pack. Really, really love this set. I mean, this, this set's nearly, what, four years old now? Three and a half, three to four years old. And the cards still lay flat. That's a testament to how good the card stock was. And ooh, Grave Troll Foil. Finally found the Foil Rare. Will our first Mythic be hiding behind this troll? It's not. You get the Troll and the Goblin. Squee, Goblin, Naboo, Lava Spike, Dakmore Salvage. Again, the good uncommons. And Dakota, that's an eight mana pack with the Foil Troll. You're already in the lead and you have another pack. Before we move on to Sean. Oval Snout. This guy gives me nightmares. And a Ruined Halo for two. Red Cap. Emancipation Angel. Kodama's Reach. I really feel like in Kamigawa. Kodama's Reach. It, it made me think of this. 14 here for Dakota. But I feel like in Kamigawa. Like, could we get Secure Tri Builder back? Was that too much to ask? It's, it's not that OP, right? Anyways, Sean, Caboose time. No Mythics have been hit. Where are they going to be? Will they be in Sean stack? We got a Boneyard Worm. And we got a Dig Through Time for eight. That's some beef. Forgot about Dig Through Time. I think we're all, all remembering how good Delve is as a mechanic. I mean, we have, you know, Merc Tide in Modern is 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 pretty, pretty stonk, strong, strong. It's really good. And, uh, you know, being able to being able to take cards in your graveyard to pay for uh, expensive creatures feels pretty good. Golgari Thug. Nice little foil hit and a Maelstrom Pulse. 
Shriek Ma, originally out of Lorwyn. He used to play that card quite a bit. It's a limited all-star for sure. And three more. All right, check this out. We're going into pack 18 here. This is pack 18 out of 24. No mythics. Or did I forget? Did I forget we hit a mythic? We're about to find out. War Leaders Helix into a Thespian stage. Kitchen Finks, Mahatmandi Jin. I know I didn't say that right, but I tried. And that's a zero. We have three people at 11. Let's count it up so far. Austin's at eight. Maxwell's at three. Phil, Brian, and Sean are at 11. And Dakota's currently in the lead with a 14. Let's open these last packs. Come on, Mythics. Where are you hiding? We'll take a Lily, a Snappy, a Karn. Cavern of Souls, even. Gamble. That's a nice little, uh, that's a nice little rare there. That's a, the Red Toot. The red toots is what happens when you eat Taco Bell way too much. Also, Flaming Hot Cheetos or Fuego Takis. You know what I'm talking about. That's a nine for Austin. Maxwell, you're up to bat. Still no mythics. Boyle thinks twice. Sheesh. This is our third box of Ultimate Masters in a row with the toot and that i think that might be it's going to be my second favorite art after the judge promo so incredible nice little hit there for maxwell putting you at five and uh, i guess that makes up for the man lands you get the low spot and the demonic toot phil so if we get the average of three mythics you've got a 25 percent of mythic chances right here Repel the Darkness into a Revel Arc 4-5. Phil, that's going to put you into the lead. Currently, you're at 16. You have a two-point lead. Let's see if it holds up. Brian, so will the last three packs have Mythics? Are we going to get... This is, this is crazy. This is real crazy. Face Feathers for Brian. Okay, it's our first Mythic. It's our first Mythic, and it's the Goyf. Let's go, finally. Some Mythic Devoted Druid's good, too. Some Mythic action here in the close of the box. So maybe we'll get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Mythics. We're about to find out. Brian, that's going to put you at 13. Dakota, you need at least a two to the tie. You need a three to win. Let's see, can you get there? And let's see if this will be our second mythic of the box. It is. It is the second mythic of the box. Oh my gosh. Ulamog the Infinite Gyre. Sheesh. Pretty sure Dakota just put this one away. GG's everybody. He was already in the lead. 11 is a lot. Holy smokes. 25 total. And then Sean... Fingers crossed, we get a Mythic here. So far, Goyf and Ulamog are pretty solid as far as Mythics go. Here we go. It is, no, it's just a two Mythic box. Fulminator Mage for Sean to close things out. Nice little uh, nice little run of cards there with the Treasure Cruise, the Circular Logic, etc. Three more. It's going to put you at 14. I guess we got two good Mythics. There was, no, there was like no Lord of Extinction. No Platinum Imperion kind of stuff. So we'll take Goyf and Ulamog. You take what you can get. We got Austin at 9. We have Maxwell at 5. Taking that low spot and grabbing the Core 21 pack. We have Phil at 16. Brian at 13. Dakota at 25 with that huge hit at the end. And then we have Sean in the caboose with 14. Let's open this 21 pack for Maxwell. Let's see if it's good. Sometimes these things are insane. You'll get five to six hits out of it. We had one last night that was two Mythics, four Rares, and it was all beef. Double Vision to start it off. Shacklegeist, that guy's a thing now. Temple, man, Temple. They printed Temples to death in 20, 20, 2022, 2021, didn't they? Garug's Harbinger and a Bastry's Acolyte. This Core 21 pack was kind of mid, if I'm going to be honest. So let's hope this topper redeems us. Let's see what happens here. 
let's open it. Good luck, Dakota. Fingers crossed. At this point, it could be anything, and it's going to be... Oh, my God! That's a cavern of souls! Holy potatoes! What? Only a two-mythic box, but I think this topper redeemed it. That's insanity! Dakota, you got the Ulamog. You got the box topper cavern of souls. That's absolutely incredible. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. That way you can get on the giveaways. I'll see you in the next one. I love your faces. Have a good night.